Okay, everyone, welcome to week one of our course. This is uh, an exciting time, and this is going to be an exciting course. So I want you to keep up with it, though, because there's a lot we have to do. So I'm going to go over that with you today and make sure you know what we're doing in week one. First of all, uh, we want you to finish the course requirements checklist. The course requirements checklist uh, it will be posted, will be available after 12.30 on Monday. And then after that, I want you to finish it by Wednesday, 11.59, uh, Wednesday Eastern Time, okay? So you'll see how to do that. Basically, uh, it's self-explanatory uh, in the materials in the Blackboard. Now, the other thing I want you to do is give us an introduction for yourself. You're going to post your introduction. I want to know about you, where you are in the program, what brought you to Liberty, etc. And that'll be something really good because I, I like to find out where you are and uh, what your knowledge base is and uh, what your interests are. And uh, then the first post will be on, another post you'll be doing is on, uh, based on your understanding of a Christian worldview, are we normal or abnormal? What does the Bible say about abnormality? So, before you do these posts, remember, you need to look at the uh, DVDs, you need to do your readings, so you have a background and knowledge. The, the posts really should reflect the fact that you have some knowledge of the areas that you're uh, being questioned about. So, remember that for all the posts that you're going to be doing. You're going to be reading the DSM uh, manual, uh, chapters 1, 3, and 5. So, um, uh, that's uh, going to take... Sorry. You're going to be reading the DSM manual, the introduction, cautionary statement, use of the manual, Appendix C, and I. You're going to be reading your textbook chapters 1, 3, and 5. Uh, you're going to be watching DVD modules 1 to 3. You're going to watch five presentations and read the four notes uh, in the black book, uh, Blackboard. And you're going to have to submit your research paper topic. Now, if you download the research paper uh, template, which is in the course spreadsheet, uh, then you will find out how to choose a topic there. Now, you can choose a topic of your own, or you can choose a topic that I have given. I've given three topics there so far. I may put in more, but... Uh, these are pre-approved topics. It's so hard to get going in this course. I mean, you're going to have to go so fast. I didn't want you to spend a lot of time trying to find a topic uh, that might be acceptable. So if you want to look at that, um, I'll actually probably send you an email on that as well. Um, so you're also going to have to uh, begin to set up your interview. That is, you want to find out, you know, think about who, which mental health professional you're going to call. You have to call someone and interview them, and then you'll be posting that to the discussion board as well. And uh, you will be also uh, posting two replies to the other, to the discussion board posts. So uh, there's quite a bit to do this week. And uh, the other thing I want you to do is download the course spreadsheet. You will receive information on how to download that. And then inside the course spreadsheet, you're going to print out, hopefully, all the materials that are sort of in brown there. You will see all the links, and you double-click quickly on the icons to get them to open up, by the way. Some people seem to have problems with that. But you'll download the course spreadsheet and then start a file. I would start definitely a folder of all the materials that you're going to be accumulating there that you can use to reference and go back to as you write your research paper, for example, and as you go through your various assignments. And especially the research paper template, as you construct your research paper, you want to have that template available to you so you do it properly formatted and you start, as you collect your research articles, I would suggest you put them, uh, the references into the template, uh, into the reference section of um, Microsoft Word, and you'll see how to do that uh, because I'll be showing you how to do that. So follow this research uh, paper information that I've given you so that this will get going and not be too difficult because you have to turn in this research paper by the sixth uh, module, end of the sixth module, so you don't really have very much time to do this. So I didn't want you to have to take too much time searching around for topics. So if you're okay with the topics that I've suggested, you might want to go ahead and pick one of those and then let me know which topic you've picked. And remember, the assignments have to be put in in a timely fashion. Don't don't be late. You have to keep up with them. I don't really take excuses for being late. If you have uh, to delay or have to postpone something, you have to do it way in advance uh, and let me know way in advance, not just the last moment like I ran out of time, okay? So you need to do those uh, in advance if you're going to be late. Otherwise, you're going to get penalized uh, for not properly uh, 
putting these uh, in uh, at the right time frame so that others, other people can respond to them and so I can grade them too. And I'll try to get back your grades within a week and I'll try to respond to any emails that you give me uh, within 24 hours. Okay, that's week one. It's a big week, uh, but get going and I'll be praying for you. Get started right away and let me know if you need any help. Thanks. Bye-bye.